Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is about 70% of all white North Americans can test the chemical phenyl zeocarbamide and the reminder cannot the ability to test this uh, determined by the dominant allele T and the inability to test is determined by the recessive allele T. If the population is assumed to be in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, what are the genotypic and allelic frequencies in this population? And in order to solve this problem, we need to use Hardy-Weinberg formula where frequency of uh, all three genotypes that can be made by two alleles, allele uh, dominant T and recessive T would equal to P squared plus 2 PQ plus Q squared where P squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype, 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype, and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. And all this would equal to 1. And uh, we are told that these two genotypes are 70% in this population because these two genotypes would make the same phenotype. And this genotype make another 30% in this population. In other words, we can say that um, on the scale between 0 and 1, the frequency of the first phenotype would be 0 0.7, and the frequency of the homozygous recessive uh, genotype and phenotype would be 0 0.3. Uh, so when I'm saying frequency of this genotype and phenotype, I mean it because uh, this phenotype consists of only one genotype and frequency of this phenotype and genotype would be 0 0.3. But here we don't know what is the frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype and what is the frequency of the heterozygous genotype because uh, these uh, numbers are joined for both genotypes. But we have to find the probability and frequency of each genotype. And first of all, we have to find uh, the frequency of two alleles, dominant allele T and recessive allele T. So uh, you also have to know that P plus Q would equal to 1 or to 100 percent. So once again uh, P in our formula stands for the dominant allele T and Q stands for the recessive allele T. So uh, we have only two alleles here, dominant allele and recessive allele which in diploid organism can make three different genotypes but all dominant alleles plus all Recessive alleles should make 100% or 1 if we doing our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. So once again, uh, we're doing our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1, which is equal to 0 and 100% on the scale of uh, percentages. So, uh, what we can do? We can uh, find Q. How we are going to do it? We just have to take a square root from Q squared. And this is how we will fi we'll find Q. We know that uh, Q equals to, uh, Q squared equals to 0 0.3. So, let's take a square root of 0. 0.3 and rounded number would be 0 0.55 this would equal to Q now we know that uh, frequency of Q is 0 0.55 and as you see we instantly know the frequency of the dominant allele P which is 0 0.45 
If we add these two numbers, we are going to get 1. Now, uh, we can find also frequency um, of the heterozygous genotype. So, uh, we have here 2PQ. So, 2PQ. And we have to multiply 2 by 0. 45 and by 0 0.55 once again uh, this is going to be a frequency of the dominant allele and this is frequency of the recessive allele and this is frequency of the heterozygous genotype and rounded answer would be 0. So this is rounded uh, answer. So this is frequency of the heterozygous genotype, uh, which is um, capital T, small t. And uh, so we can put this number here. So 50%. And that gives us information that uh, dominant uh, homozygous dominant genotype would be another 20% because we know that together they make 70%. If we know that one makes 50%, that means that the other one makes 20%. But you also can find this number by multiplying uh, 0 0.5 by itself, so P multiplied by P. So we can do it. Uh, P multiplied by P or P squared would equal to 0 0.45 multiplied by 0 0.45 and, and the rounded answer would be 0 0.2 uh, or 20%. This is going to be genotype uh, homozygous dominant. And we know that homozygous recessive genotype is 30%. So when we add all these numbers, 20 plus 50 plus 30, we are going to get 100%. And 100% on our scale of percentages would equal to 1, just like in our formula. So now we have frequency of all three genotypes. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.